Way past your bedtime. I said it. What are you doing up? Way too late for you to be up, son. <sighs> do those things actually work in my chat? Oh yeah, they do. Aha, yeah, I see it. I see it on the stream. Nice. Well, let's hope we don't get that matchup again. That was a whole lot of fun. Missed those spatial contortions, so show no Luris, one land, we mulligan. Like to have more than one land game. This is fine. The put back a smasher and a great creator. Or a chalice and a great creator. Keeping two of these up. Hope we don't get punished for that. Yeah, I, you and me both. Ever since I went to Florida, it got all fucked up. Um, my good friend's son has diabetes, so they got like that sugar level thing on his phone. And it's literally like one in the morning till the point I had to wake up. Like, duh, it was just the worst. It's okay though. It was for a good cause, I'm not gonna complain. It just threw me off. I didn't get that like proper like six to eight hours of sleep I normally would. I don't know how people with kids do it. It's like a walking zombie. I'm gonna go get another temple and then just smash mash. Kind of see if they have enough to uh, get past that pressure. Cause I don't know what else we're gonna do here. Um, I don't like the fact that Wat Watsi like backtracked on their we'll never print singles. They also came out with that statement like, oh, we're going to put it in the return to Innistrad set basically because it just seems like the cards belong in that set. Or the return to return to Innistrad or whatever the shadows, uh, shadows over the return of Innistrad or whatever you want to call it. And then, um, I think the cards are cool. I think they could have done a lot better with the full art part of it um i think the cards are cool they kind of do fit the flavor very well of what they're going for i'll give them that um rick seems rick and michonne seem the strongest i do not understand the wording on negan at all like how do you in a multiplayer game it says secretly pick so you gotta like write down what you th what you want? Oh god. Well, sometimes you just get hands like this. Um, so it'd be interesting because I, I don't know how many cards are supposed to be. So we saw a Rick already, and I'm guessing we're gonna see like a Carol, and maybe like the Governor. I don't really know who they're doing. That's like evil per se. Oh, that's it. Is there an, is there another one after Rick today? Hold on. Hold on. I might have missed one. Is it just five or is it? Okay, so it's just those five. Daryl's weird, but it's draw a card engine that really helps the opponent, giving them a bunch of things. Cool flavor, semi cool idea, poor execution doing it the way they did and kind of slapping magic fans in the face. That's my take on it. Regardless if their intentions are good or not, it's pretty clear that all Hasbro cares about is cash grabbing at this point. I'm going to use a city blessing. Hope you get that city's blessing soon before my smashers smash you. Yeah, so I mean, really, I would. Rick's really good for EDH and like mono white decks. Besides that, Michonne seems like the most interesting. Glenn's alright too. 
Cool idea. I actually still watch The Walking Dead. That's goofy. I think I'm pretty sure I'm the last American to watch that show at this point. I would agree, but I also can, as a person, I'm not like being like, oh, I got money or whatever. I have like $10,000 in EDH cards. So as a person that plays EDH and as the fan base is probably mostly made up of people that buy all their cards and keep many of these places in business. I can see where they get mad because like proprietary wise, if they just want one of those cards or like have to shell out 50 bucks or whatever it is for it. I think that's kind of crap. I mean, it's five pieces of cardboard with like four or five tokens. Like really at the end of the day, like that's kind of nonsense. You're going to try to push on your fans. I, Hey man, people are struggling. They need money. I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I really just want Rick, but I think they're all cool, like, art-wise, but that's just me. I'm not overreacting like the masses do. I just, I, I don't know. It's a weird spot. I think Magic's kind of much deserving of the bash backlash they're getting from the community, but I also think that the statements by Mark Rosewater and all that stuff, is, it is what it is. Um, what are people going to do? Now, if people were smart, they wouldn't buy it at all, and then send a message to them to never print something like that again, which I hope that... It's going to happen if the community is acting like the way they are. Or the um, rules committee just bans those cards straight out, right? Which I know there's a big push for that to happen right now. So Chalice seems bad. I think we just throw in all of our beefy boys. So it's like between Walking Bliss and Ratchet Bomb? I don't think we gotta worry much about the graveyard. I haven't seen any Planeswalkers. But they do though, cause I'm pretty sure they banned Lutri and it wasn't Watsi that decided that. Watsi takes a lot of influence from the rules committee. The rules committee was kind of put in place and made the format what it is, so. I could be completely wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure the rules committee can decide what's legal or not. Maybe not in a magic standard, but in like a, people are going to listen to them more than they listen to Watsi. Unless you're like a CEDH player. It's possible. Again, I could be absolutely wrong there, but I just, I don't know. It's, it's like the same problem with Uro. Like, let's make a amazing card that's worth a bunch of money and then ban it across the board but we won't ban it right away because we want to make a bunch of money that makes no sense you know why don't you just make cards that are not broken They announced that they weren't going to be banned, is what you're saying? Goodbye, Smasher. Well, it's probably an expedition map. I mean, that's not surprising by any means. What's sad, though, is when you hear someone like Sam Black, who play tests the stuff for the older formats, tells them it's broken. Or that, like, cards are too powerful. And they sp still print the stupid cards. Like, come on. Like, if Sam Black's telling you something's broken, especially in a limited, like, constructed thing, like, listen to the him. He's good. <laughs> he understands the game. So, I digress. It is what it is. I enjoy playing this game that I hardly understand. Keeping cards that do nothing. I'm just going to have fun doing what I do. It is what it is. Coast quarter, great.
So we just go get another tower? Seems weird. They know I wasn't holding another Tron land, so... <laughs> Point on that BG plan going nowhere quick. <laughs> Got any more thought seasons there, OP? Should have got temple. Damn it. Probably would have won me the game. We take this up to two. I don't think it's gonna stay on one. Let's see in Luris. Just another thought seize. Are you serious? Man. Sweet Carol Land. Ooh. So we got Karn in the liquid metal coating, and we got Thoughtseize to rip something from their hand, leaving them with two cards in hand. One of them could be a kill spell, so they could just draw one right back. We'll go the TKS route to get pressure on the... Oh, fuck. <laughs> we'll just click the wrong one. We'll just click the wrong one, and it works too. Um, that getting Relic? Is this... What? They abuse their graveyard? That bad? I'll definitely listen to you. Does draw a card, I guess, too. Can't use it right now. Just seems like taking out their land would be very good right now. Every turn. Most of the stuff we're probably worried about is the three drop, like dinosaur thing that they have. And then you're taking them away from getting um Okay. So here we take KS. They like surgical extracting something. The head trophy. Loam Inquisition Ab Nixilis. Turn up to three target land cards from your graveyard to your hand. They have two. Is it low? They can't dredge. We don't really care about Inquisition too much. They want to use it for Relic. Ob sucks with a two land away from using it and like two attacks from this. Plus possible matter reshaper next turn is going to be really brutal, brutal for them. Yeah. We're good. I just like, I like, this goes on YouTube, so I like talking through the decisions. At least what goes on in my head. So they're going to Inquisition us if they don't get like something. That's a really weird match. Which is probably why we're in the 1 3 bracket challenge right now. What you got, OP? Getting them lands. Ooh, trophy. Okay. They still don't draw land. So they're gonna Inquisition us. Goodbye, Mattery Shaper, I'd imagine. Relic, ooh, okay. Smasher. Ah, oh, that was the wrong one. Boop, boop, boop. So, Obnexilis and uh, Unknown. 
YouTubes, YouTubes. Or what is this EDH? What is going on here? Get truck monster. Get Trog out of here. So they're not drawing a land. They're going drawing Get Trog. Going down to two. We just need literal anything. Walking Ballista would do it. Sweet. 